Hey people, hope everyone's doing well. All right, this is on the ground. This is what, what word I'm getting and just hearing on what's happening. And this is how we get information out to each other by basically kind of saying it without saying it. So respiratory syncytial virus infection, RSV. Apparently, from what I've been hearing, apparently people are dropping from this a lot like flies in my area from what I've heard apparently this is just my opinion and what has been being told to me and others and what we're hearing so when you look it up respiratory syncytial virus infection RSV it's obviously a report coming from the CDC explaining what it is Center for Disease Control and Prevention and respiratory uh, RSV is common respiratory virus uh, that causes mild cold-like symptoms. Most people recover in a week or two, but RSV can be serious, especially for infants, older uh, older adults. RSV is most common cause of uh, bronch bronch bronchi bronchiolitis, inflammation of small airways in the lung, and pneumonia, infection in the lungs in children younger than one year in age in the United States. Locally, we're getting word of more and more people dropping from this or passing away locally. Now, I want to ask you guys, what is happening in your neck of the woods or what is really happening? Go into kind of simple Google search and you find from yesterday's date, when will we get an RSV vaccine? Is RSV going to be the next, you know, the next thing, right? So pharmaceutical companies and health authorities are pushing to get respiratory blah, blah, RSV vaccines uh, approved, ready for distribution. Uh, there's a good reason behind this sense of urgency. So then you go into RSV versus influenza. Outcomes worse for hospitalized adults with RSV. Now, you go into their study, and this is preliminary. Uh, Pulmonary advisory. So it goes into a key point here. Watch the key point. Let me let me put this in perspective here. There it is. Study finds uh, uh, findings highlight the need for RSV surveillance in adults with acute respiratory infections. Okay, especially in those with cardiopulmonary conditions. So when you start connecting the dots, it starts to make sense from what's been going on in the last couple of years and what you've been told and whatnot. So I just want to put this out there. Comment below your testimonies or what make this channel worth it. Um, RSV, are you noticing this pattern happening in your immediate area? Maybe call up a nurse. Maybe call up somebody that you might know that could tell you what's going on or maybe give you this information that you could share with us. Anyways, just passing on some information here. Mike Martins, I have spoken.